so many women complain about Nigerian men being so much in control. Yes, some of them talk about you no know, like always acting in charge. Yes, that's the word. Like Nigerian men are always acting in charge. But something you do not realize is that it is a natural thing for a Nigerian man to act that way. That he's acting that way doesn't mean like he's trying to like maybe gain control or uh, be in charge of you or you know it's just a natural thing and I will break it down to you. I'm going to tell you the genesis of what led to this particular behavior of a Nigerian man being in charge and in control of all around him. Growing up a Nigerian child is different. In fact, the name Nigerian is a different name entirely. I have seen people from various nationalities. I have seen the way their children grow up. When a Nigerian child is born, from the moment you're like four, five, six, you start to get responsible. Looking back, yeah, like looking back now, I tend to kind of feel that we were kind of abused other than trained. In a Nigerian child, you, you, you're molded. You are molded into something. While all the nationalities will give birth to children and let them grow and let them explore and let them see what they want to be. Let them choose what they like to be, what they like to do, how they like to live, what they like to become in future. Nigerians are molded into what they want them to be. Don't get me wrong. Of course, not everyone will be what you want. Of course, you can force a, a cow to the river, but you cannot force the cow to drink. Yes, you start to take up responsibility. Do you know that a child of about five, six, seven is already doing house chores, already doing the dishes, washing clothes, sweeping the house? mopping the house, taking responsibilities for those who live in the villages, already going to the farms with your parents, already learning the act of cultivation, already doing lots and lots of things. Ah, sorry. Sorry about my voice. I don't know what happened. I've been eating lots of cashew nuts lately. And I do not know if this is what is causing it to. I really do apologize. But I hope you understand what I am saying. Even before age 10, you're already learning business. Before age 10, you already know business. That is a Nigerian child. Taking myself, for example, I was eight and I was left in the shop to do business. Yes, my people will go out and I was left in the shop where we sell. As at 8, 9, 10, I was already counting money for those whom their mom will have some little kiosk, like what they call grocery here. They will be in the shops selling, getting money from the people. The parents may be inside doing something else watching tv doing whatever these children will be in the shop selling when you go to the shop and you ask them they tell their mom and their dad they're inside we get you know we get lots and loads and loads and loads of responsibilities than what we deserve and at the same time you expected to go to school and come out in flying colors <laughs> you know, all Nigerian parents, they want their child to be the first in class. And by the way, they all took first during their time as children. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the story. So there is no excuse for laziness. There is no excuse to fail. There is no excuse to not take in first place. But of course, not everyone would take first place. The mood you become strong. You don't have a choice. A Nigerian man, a Nigerian woman, 
a Nigerian child has no choice other than to take responsibility of your life. You have no choice other than to gain control of everything around you. You have no choice other than to be in charge. So this is the reason why we start off in that way. They start to train us in that way. It is five, six, seven, eight. You already have your duties assigned to you. If you don't do them, you will be punished. <laughs> you know what? Sincerely, I work in a leisure and entertainment company. And every weekend, I see how parents and children would come out in mass just to have fun. I see how parents and children will come out, spend money just to have fun, just to be happy, just to feel relaxed. And I would say to myself, we never had this growing up. It was all do the dishes, sweep the house, clean the house before your father comes house, clean the house, cook the food for we the girls and for the boys, do this maybe, uh, you know, there is always responsibility. We grow up knowing that we have to take control. We have to take control of our lives. The boys, the girls, we take control. For those who come from a family like that is not really well to do and they have to really, really struggle to survive, some children are sent out on the street to sell, this time not in the shop, to sell. You have a tray, you put it on your head, they put the goods on the tray. And you go around and you hawk it and you sell and you come back home with money. This is a Nigerian child who is about six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A Nigerian child taking child Being made to to become adults so fast. We were children, but we became adults. We started to take responsibilities so young. We started to do things so young. Children around the world are only bothered with developing themselves. Never have I seen that a child is being put through what the Nigerian society put a child through. Never have I seen that. You leave secondary school. Oh yes, now I'm an adult. You get into the university. It's another ball game. You finish. Four years, five years, it depends. <laughs> Welcome to the world. You step out into the world, yes. And then you become an adult. You start to take control of your life. You come back home from, from, from NYSC. Everyone is expecting you to get a job. So many people with first class, second class, third class. And then we move into the labor market. And it becomes a place for survival of the fittest. Not minding your qualification. Not minding if you are first class. A third class person may just get that job because he or she knows someone who knows someone who knows someone. This is Nigerian child for you. This is our life. One year you have not got a job. Two years you have not got a job. Three years. You start to take responsibility into your evil hands. You start to look for what to do. You become maybe a businessman or a businesswoman. And then you start to fend for yourself. 
you start to gather money little by little until you make it. This is what a typical Nigerian child goes through from childhood to adulthood. A brief insight on what it means to be a Nigerian. We've been taking charge, we've been taking control right from when we were young. So, on why Nigerian men always feel ill in charge or in control, that they feel this way doesn't necessarily mean that they are control freak. It's just that when it comes to things about their lives, they like to take control. Anything it is that someone can actually take control of, they like to take control. Except it's something beyond what they can control. But if it is something that they can control, they like to control it. For example, making money, they like to take the bull by the horn. They like to go all in, walking. They like to do these things. They like to work hard to achieve what they want. So coming to you, the woman, you feel like he's in control. But I am telling you, he's in control. He feels in charge because it's just natural him. It doesn't mean like he's gonna make you or turn you. It, it's just it's just the it's just the thing around him that you see. So you feel like oh, He's so much in control. I can understand. I know. Even people have said it even before me. Like, you Nigerians, you like, you know, acting. We're not acting. You know, it's just who we are. It's just what we have been molded into. So, my ladies, when you see the Nigerian man acting in charge, don't be scared. He's not gonna just maybe you know, be a control freak over you, no. Not when it comes to love. They may be so much in control, but believe me, when a Nigerian man is in love, hmm, a new Mumu is born. If you don't know what Mumu means, or Mungu means, it means a fool, I'm sorry. Not saying that a man is a fool. It just means that he will turn blind eyes to everything you do. He will become a fool for you. He will become a fool for love. You know, that is the thing. So, but it's true also when it comes to a Nigerian man. When he's in love, with all this he's being in charge. With all this he's, uh, you know, acting so responsible. But he's still going to be a fool for you. If you meet that Nigerian man who's not a fool for you, it's just him. It's not a general thing. It's just him. I'm a person. I have my behavior. I have my character. It's me. It's my behavior. Not someone else's, okay? I know I've said a lot already, but I just really wanted you to understand the Nigerian man or even the Nigerian person and how we are built and how we grow up. This is what it means really to be a Nigerian. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you understand the reason why Nigerian men really really act in charge, in control and everything. If you did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share it and subscribe to my channel for more gist okay so without further ado do have a lovely day do have a happy day stay happy stay blessed and bye bye